telling on Jesus. I'll I'll stand up with you. As long as Jesus is on my side, I'll stand up to you. Just like you just tried to say that Jesus somehow uh, was uh, the one that the book was talking about going to save you. Jesus Jesus told you that he don't judge nobody. He said, I I didn't come to judge the world. He said, I came to save the world. Like all of the messengers of God, they came to bring salvation to the world. He said, but he that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words, hath one that judgeth him. The words that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. That's because Jesus knew that the Son of Man is the one that the, uh, the Scripture says God told him to take the book and eat it up. And once I ate the book up, then I became the book. And now the Word is judging all of you in the flesh. You're listening to One Man from Ohio. And you'd have done better to come in here and show respect than to come in here lying to me. I think I think I showed you respect. Okay. You be careful when you come in here. I have I have never said anything bad. Don't, don't come in here purposely disrespecting me. I come in here with not love. Get away with it. I come in here with love in my heart, not okay. not well, division. You make sure you make sure that you keep that. Because I'm not here to be your enemy. I'm trying to trying to save you. I'm trying to save all of you. But if you come in here trying to do me like you did my like your people did my forefathers and whatnot, and like this world did the prophets, who claimed they loved Jesus, but when Jesus was here they spit in his face, slapped him, beat him. Now I want to come up here pretending that they loved him. But I know better. I remember this white man in in, uh, Mr. Neubauer uh, there in uh, South Haven, uh, Michigan. They come uh, asking me when did I die and when did I suffer for anybody and whatnot. And I told him just what the book said. As you did it to the least of these, my brethren, the prophets. That was me. And they even asked me, how long was I going to put up with you and don't punish you for what you did to them? Oh. I bet, I bet well, you've had a better remember, life than I just have. Just remember, when you come in here with me, the same way that you demanded, when a black man walked into your courtroom, he had to show the utmost of respect to the judge. You know how you're supposed to conduct yourself when you're in front of a judge. Well, I'm the judge of all human beings. And all of you better remember that when you're talking to me. I say you're not. What did you say? I say you're not. Okay, well then, you get on out of here. It's racism you're teaching, sir. You get out of here. Yeah, there's a man that practice nothing but racism on me and my people all our lives, and you want to come in here and accuse me of do what you've been doing. I accuse you for your own actions. When a, when a black my man, actions is when not a black what man my ancestors to did. Talk with with any of you that disagreed with him, you kill him. I think I think the devil played everybody for a fool. This uh, racism I don't is that. dead. You the devil. The future is is dead. Jesus said. Jesus said in the eight, John eight and forty four. He called white people devil. He said, you are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth. For there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. There he called in white people devil. Are you aware that white people are only people that ever called a lie after themselves? They call it a little white lie. And Jesus called you devil. Now, I know who you are. That's racism. We made you. And I'm offering you, I'm offering you a chance to be remade. But if you don't want to show respect for me, you want to come in here and try to cloud the issue and try to accuse me? This, accuse this, me this bleeds. This bleeds out of you. This racism bleeds out of you. Everybody can hear it. Uh, yeah. You Everybody, know, you, you would be a good that, teacher. That, listen, you would be a good teacher. You would be a good teacher if now, you, you didn't know, teach this racism. Is a, this is a typical thing of, now you be quiet. This is a typical ploy 
of white people. This is not and a ploy. This is love. Face. This is love for you. They tried to change. Now, I'm going to tell you again. Don't cut me off while I'm talking. This is my form. It's, a, it's historically true that whenever a black man says, or uh, whenever someone disagrees with you, you decide that you're going to... You decide that you are going to change what's meant by what's said. If I, if I was a racist, me and you wouldn't even be talking. I know what racism is. You notice, when you say something, I listen, and I comment on what you say. I don't try to twist your words. I don't try to put words in your mouth. But you brought up the subject. And then when I start telling you about, I tell you what, did, did, was I lying when I said that white people came out of black people? I don't Is know. Is that a lie? Were you there? I'm here now. Were you there? Yes. You weren't there. Just be honest. You, you weren't there. I'm being honest. If, if you, that's like asking a scientist. Was he there when uh, uh, E equals MC square was brought up? That's the same mind in him that was in Einstein. So the same mind that was in uh, the maker, Jacob, of you. That's the mind that's in me. Certainly I was there. I couldn't talk on it if I wasn't there. You've but heard you it. think being there means being there in this flesh. I wasn't there in this form. I wasn't there in this temple. But the mind that's in me was in another temple at that time. Boy, you can't, you cannot uh, argue with me. You don't have enough depth of knowledge to argue with me. I'm saying you, you would reach you more know, people. You changed the subject just now. You would reach more people if there wasn't so much racism. Out. But by not answering, you did answer. I asked you, was I lying? When I said that white people came out of black people. I said I don't know. Well, I do. You believe in re evolution or something? No. Not the way you're talking about. No, I and, don't and, believe you know, in evolution. Even that stuff that you all was trying to tell us, uh, the only reason that you got away with that was because the people who was listening to you were so dumb. To, to say that man somehow evolved from monkeys, which is a if joke. That was the case, if that was the case, then there should be no monkeys now. And if, and and even if there are monkeys, you ought to see some of them evolving into people. That, but what the scientist really uh, was talking about was that when you were in the cave in hillsides of Europe, you had fallen to a ape-like condition. And Moses went into the caves and hillsides of Europe and brought you out and you evolved out of that ape-like state. Now that is true. You know. But, uh, and the one truth that you will have to bear witness that even when you're in the museum when they used to show you cave people, you never seen a black man in a cave. We, we, we're not cave people. What happened with Babylon? You're in Babylon now. And the reason that it's called Babylon is because of the uh, confusion that, that yeah, you see in the, this country. The Tower of the Babel. The name Babylon is, actually means confusion. Yeah, the Tower of Babel. Yeah, well, that's, that's what you have built with all these false religions. Yeah, well, when they... You've got yeah. Baptist, Methodist, Episcopal, Seventh-day Adventist, and all of them claiming to be the denominations of Christianity. And then none but a Tower of Confusion while you claim you was building a tower that lead people to heaven. And okay. all you got is a bunch of confusion. When, when God knocked that down, he confused everybody. He changed their language. Well, God didn't, no, 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 understand something. The only one that was confused was the one who, uh, uh, what is another word for confused? Confused, to confuse people. It is to deceive people. That God there is not even talking about the Lord of the world. It's talking about you. You're the one deceived the world. 
and got the whole world worshiping you and not realizing. Doesn't Don't it, you know who's ever understanding that you go by is the one that you're worshiping? Yeah. The people haven't been worshiping God. They've been worshiping white people. And that is who was given dominion for the past 6,000 years. It's been the Caucasian. Even your name tells who you are. Caucasian means made Asian. They didn't teach you that in school. You see? Now, how do I know? It's because I'm your father. <laughs> I know who you are. I know who all of you are. You see? And I'm offering you a chance to get that cursed mind off of you. And, and the curse is, is that you notice when you look at the Ten Commandments on the TV with Charleston Heston and them, everything is physical. He stretched out a physical rod over the physical water and the water opened up and stuff like that. That's, that's because your mind is not spiritual. You can't understand spiritual things. We didn't give you that. We gave you the understanding of the natural. And it's, other, it's, it's many white people that know now uh, the truth. And they don't try to put that lie over no more. You see? And so to, to practice what's in the, in the Holy Bible, if you really believe in what's in the Holy Bible, you're not believing in Christianity. You're believing in Islam. The Bible is a Muslim scripture. There's no such thing as a Christian scripture. The Bible came first, sir. Yes, it did. The Torah, then uh, the, you, you notice the Torah consists of a lot of those books. The first five books of the Bible is actually the book of Moses. But then it, you, you have all of those other books in there, too. You have David's book. You have Jeremiah's book. You have Ezekiel's book. You have many of those books in there they, uh, that were put with it. And uh, all of those uh, men taught the same religion. All of them taught Islam. They did not teach a religion called Christianity. They did not teach a religion called Judaism. They taught submission to the will of God. That has always been and will always be God's religion. And in the uh, language uh, that uh, how come they're uh, slaughtering? Arabic, it is pronounced Islam. How come if they're slaughtering Christians over in the other countries? Say that again. How come they're slaughtering Christians in the other countries? Because they worship devils. All of those people who murder people in the name of religion, they are nothing but devils. They are worshiping devils because the 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 killing of, of any human being, the killing of any flesh, is to kill an innocent. Because flesh is not guilty of anything. Flesh can't do nothing but what it is ordered to do by the mind that's in it. So if you kill the body of a person, you actually didn't kill the person, you killed the body that the person was in. You notice, your mind speaks of your body as a possession. You refer to your foot as my foot, my hand, my arm, my head, my brain. The body is a possession, and the mind that's in it is the possessor. And so you have been possessed by devil, and I'm here to cast out the devil. You're watching UHF TV 33, Detroit Highland Park. Now I'll tell you something else. It is very foolish on your part to come in here and uh, try to match wits with me, especially when you don't have the knowledge and if you do have the knowledge, you're not even honest enough to 
bear witness that you 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 know you, you know you don't know nothing past six hours.